Thanks, Sandy. Well, the primary election polls open in just 12 hours. And Republican candidates in the 3rd District congressional race are heating up the campaign trail in preparation. News Channel 15's Adam Widener joins us now with that story. Mark and Heather, it's been a vocal campaign for many candidates in the race. You might have even received campaign mail or even been polled about it. But one day away from the primaries, candidates are hitting the streets in the hopes of grabbing your vote. You've seen the ads. Hi, I'm Mark Souter, and this is my grandson, Grant. Bob Thomas has been creating jobs in Northeast Indiana for 30 years. And have probably received emails. But today, it's face-to-face -face time candidates racing for the 3rd District Congressional seat are seeking. We've gotten such uh, great traction by just going out and doing this type of thing, meeting with small groups of people, talking to them, explaining what I hope to do if elected. Trying to get all the I's dotted and the T's crossed. Uh, make sure we responded to everybody who's contacted us, uh, if they have a question or a concern. Candidate Bob Thomas started by talking to local veterans this morning, outlining his position on their health care. They ought to be able to go to the hospital, the clinic, the doctor of their choice and the Veterans Administration should pay for it. News Channel 15 also caught up with candidate Phil Troyer, who just got back from Shipshawana and was heading to Elkhart. I have some volunteers who keep contacting me wanting signs, and so we're trying to get that coordinated in these final days, making sure we have signs out at all the polling places. As for the incumbent Mark Souter, he's also been meeting people face-to-face -face in Elkhart today. I care about the people here, people I grew up with. And in a little more than 24 hours, we'll learn the winner of this vocal and hard-fought race. It has been hectic. Now, the fourth candidate, Greg Dickman, couldn't be reached today. According to our unofficial poll on Wayne.com, Bob Thomas is leading with 47%. A scientific poll last week showed Mark Souter with a six-point lead. And if you want to voice your opinion on the 3rd District Congressional race, check out Wayne.com, and you can catch all your local primary coverage starting tomorrow morning right here on Wayne TV. Adam Widener, News Channel 15.